Five, four, three, two, one. One. Okay, so I'm gonna change back to this set because this looks dumb. Oh, whatever. These? No, not those. In fact, not those. Yeah, those. Um, yeah, I thought it looked dumb, so I'm changing back to this. But, probably gonna change pretty soon. Anyway, did I level up? I did already. Darn it. Ugh, final freaking use a thing. Uh, so this session, or this episode rather, we are going to do a few things. We're gonna go talk to Yosefka. We're gonna go talk to Yosefka. And by talk, I mean to still talk. Like, I, I didn't actually mean anything by that. Um, we're going to go talk to Yosefka behind the door, and we're going to talk to her in front of the door. Whoa. Slow down there, Joe. You don't want to blow a gasket. Yes, I do. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Whatever. I'll keep it. Yes, I do want to blow a gasket. And I'll freaking do it. Don't believe me? Hmm, well, you're you're probably you're probably uh, it's probably a good choice to. It's probably a good choice to to not believe me because I wasn't actually gonna blow a gasket. But um, yeah, we're gonna go talk to Yosefka. Then we're gonna go talk to her again in her place. Then we're gonna get some stuff. Then we're gonna go. To Kanehurst Castle. Then we're gonna kill everything in Kanehurst Castle. Then we're gonna buy a lantern, which I haven't done yet. And we're actually just gonna do that next. Hmm. So here we are, back to where we started. This is where we started. Oh well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yosefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. Go. Oh, hello. You're all right. Very good. He's safe with me now. I presume you're to thank? The treatment is going well, stabilized, for the most part. Fascinating, really. Here you are, as promised. Oh, thank goodness you came. Be a dear, find me some more. <laughs> there may eat every be a sec if you I end so please. So, um, this one, uh, this section here is going to be actually post-commentary, so, um, all the audio for this session got totally screwed up, so this is going to be post-commentary. I considered, I considered just doing no commentary, but, uh, I don't know, I have too much, I guess, to, I like to kind of inform, I guess, about the game is the best way to put it, so, I am doing post-commentary right now, we'll see how this goes, um... Yeah, I don't know what happened with this session, but everything got messed up. But looks like right now we are about to go to the Forbidden Woods so we can talk to the the, the bandage guy. I can't think of his name. I don't know. I don't know his name. But uh, <laughs> we went to Yosefka's clinic so we could um, unlock it to 
send a few people there, this man included, which who we are going to go visit. Um, but yeah, so not going to be, uh, I guess as maybe not as funny or whatever, I guess, I don't know if I'm that funny <laughs> normally anyway, but, uh, yeah, it's probably just going to be more informative for now. Um, watching the video back right now, it looks really fucking choppy though. So I don't know, like it, this is just kind of like, oh, maybe it'll work, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, huh. um, so we're going down in to get this guy. Uh huh. This guy, I don't know his name, but he's the one who's like, "Blimey, you scared me, fucking what?" Um, the other guy, the uh, the guy who thinks you're a liar, I can't think of his name either. I don't think he has a name. I think his name is just like crotchety old man or something like that. Like, <laughs> like I'm not even joking. I think his name is like crotchety old man or something like that. Um, he uh. He goes to the opposite place. So if we would have unlocked Yosefka's clinic before talking to him, he would probably be in Odin Chapel. But he doesn't give you anything, and he he doesn't have that much dialogue either. He only talks about people. Like he's like, oh, see that person over there? I don't trust him. And then you're like, oh, really? You don't trust him? And then he's like, yeah, I don't trust him. And, and you're like, okay, dude. Like, okay, buddy. Um, but yeah. Here he is, uh, here's the guy doing exactly what he was doing when he left him. I think I talked to him, I listened to his dialogue, but I ended up skipping it or something like that. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Here we go. Whoa! Scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars, you're fairly normal. Beast. Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you're a hunt, would you know of any... So we're going to tell him to go to Yosefka's clinic because he is very dangerous. Thank you. He's a scary dude. I can't very well stay out on my own. Oh, you're giving me hope. Terribly kind of you. Take this. And he gives you some pungent blood cocktails. He's obviously not very well off, but yeah, he's very dangerous. If you want to try and fight him, you can, but... Oh, excuse me, I like to think that I've kind of... Uh, uh, I've kind of, like, hardened my situation as an avid player of this game, or avid player of this game. You know, I like to think that I'm pretty good. I mean, I think I've proven myself. I think I've shown that I can be good at this game. And just take it from me, this guy is not one you want to mess with. You can cheese him easily, but he is very, very strong. Very, very strong. Man, this really, like, hmm. But yeah, he's really strong. We are not going to go back yet, though. We're actually going to go um, this way. Um, at this point, I actually noticed the scarecrows, like the the, the, the the suits on the, you know, hanging from like the, the fences on the side, like the top hats and the suits. I just noticed those. I don't know if they're new, if somebody could give me some insight, but I, I hadn't noticed those before, um, before, like, at least before the DLC came out. I hadn't noticed them. I also am going back to this item here that I guess I missed, but man, I really hope the video isn't this choppy just normally because this is not, this is not, this is not the quality that I want, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just sitting here, I guess. I, I couldn't really think of another way to do this besides like cutting up the video and like realigning the audio. That would probably take four fucking ever, and, you know, it's, might not even turn out that great. <clears throat> so this is kind of the only way where I can still kind of get what I want to say across, but, you know, not have it be complete poop, like, sound like poop, look like poop, whatever. Um, right now, we're just kind of going through this area, nothing really new here. Um, but yeah... Sorry about the post commentary here. Probably won't be as interesting. I I'm just not much I can do about it. I have no idea what happened with the audio, but there would be parts where my mic would just go like, 
and then like it would be a part way later and you know I noticed it right away when the first part this part is 23 minutes obviously but the audio from it the mic audio was 17 minutes so where did the where did the extra four minutes or not where did the extra seven minutes come from to go you know like this fucking this beer who knows but um yeah I'm using GarageBand. I don't know if I have any other, <laughs> uh, like just mic like, audio recording. I could just film a video of me talking into my mic, but um, yeah. Um, so um, in this session, I was. I'll, I th I think it's probably good that I um. I'm doing a little bit of post commentary. I won't be doing fully post commentary. The next episode uh, will be mostly, mostly my commentary, mostly live. It won't be, it won't be post. I don't think I'm just gonna leave the mic audio in, and it might get a little out of sync. But that one, I think it was only like 20 seconds difference. So um, I'll just go through and realign it every once in a while. But one thing here. Instead of going right, where the guy with the gate is, you go left, and you come into this cave. I think I end up running out to explain that. <laughs> right? And they give you antidotes. I didn't talk about this, but I thought it. Like, mid midway through this, I, like, thought it. Um, they give you antidotes because you're going to need them. Um, but, yeah, here's me running out, fucking just going to say, like, Oh, you go to the left here instead of going to the right, where the dogs are. Oh my goodness. Oh, excuse me. And that lantern is the only thing that kind of shows you which way to go. Um, but yeah, next episode, I think it was only a 20 second difference, so I'll just split the difference. I'll just, I'll just realign the audio every once in a while for that one. But the third one, I go to the Hunter's Nightmare. Dude, that episode is an hour long. All of the audio is out of sync. That episode, um... I took a lot of breaks because I had to go farm like midway through because I was out of blood echo blood uh, vials. Um, I had I had a bunch of like shit to do that 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 uh, episode. So um, that one is gonna be completely post commentary. Like fucking they do that episode is an hour long, and that's after I edited it down because I had a bunch of extra shit in that I didn't need. I'm gonna actually probably end up cutting more shit out of that now that I think about it but yeah just kind of like a like a next two episodes are going to be a little weird a little different trying something new maybe it will maybe it maybe it's cool who knows um it could be better for me I guess <laughs> um man this looks like poop I really hope this isn't like this for when I for when I upload it but yeah this looks really bad but, you know, can't stop now, it's too late. <gasps> oh my gosh, excuse me. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one that has this, but when you sit there and you, like, stay up really late, and I'm watching, like, a, a TV series or something like that, and you kind of, like, keep, you keep thinking about it so you can't sleep... That's what happened to me last night. <laughs> I fucking... I stayed up really late watching fucking YouTube videos, and damn, like, I could not sleep, dude. I went to bed at four. Oh, I woke up at three, or... I woke up at eight. <laughs> not three. And I have a huge presentation today. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, stretching. That was my bad. Um, so, uh, wow, this is so bad. This is so so bad. I'm really sorry for this. Uh, this this guy, he's dangerous, but like, I can't even follow the video right now. This is so bad. Like, this is not the kind of shit that I want. Like, yeah, it's so bad. But that guy, he's very, very dangerous. His name is, he is called a brain sucker. He sucks your brains out. If he grabs you, he'll suck out your insight. It's really annoying. Uh-huh. 
he is very, very strong. But also, conversely, he is very weak to thrusting attacks. If you have a thrusting weapon, he is very weak to it. I think I actually try to demonstrate that, but you know, like the 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 uh, the whip or the cane, I should say. The cane's R2 is just a just a jab. Um, the burial blades backstep R1. That's thrust. The burial blade actually has a lot of thrust attacks. You'd be surprised, but um, uh, the uh, the Kirk hammer, Ludwig's holy blade. A lot of shit. A lot of shit has piercing text. Saw spear, which is what I'm looking at right now. Boop. Man, no wonder this video went out of sync, dude. This looks like poop. I wonder what happened. It's interesting. I I I was, you know, uh I guess it, it might be a blessing in disguise because I don't know if I already said this, but the audio or the commentary wasn't really that good. It was, I was, it was late. I had just finished writing my essay, you know, big ass fucking essay. So I was kind of like burnt out. This, this, especially in the last episode, the Kanehurst one is fine. Um, but in the last episode, I really, um, well, I guess I wasn't really feeling it. I, uh, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't really that high quality shit, but like, then again, what do I make that's high quality? I'm fucking, I have five subscribers, dude. You know, I'm not talking to like fucking auditorium level people here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just mostly <laughs> my five friends that follow me, <laughs> that subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you a lot. It means uh, it's actually very helpful. Thank you very much. It makes me happy. It's also kind of weird because it's like I sit here. And I talk to myself for like three hours, and then my friends are like, yeah, I like watching that. And I'm like, you know, oh, cool. Like, <laughs> it feel, it's kind of weird. But um, these two guys, uh, sorry, need to talk about this. These two guys are the two guys we sent here. So that guy is the crotchety old man. He gives you the punch and blood cocktails, whether you kill him here or if you kill him as, as a human. Both of them do it, but the other guy, not so human. Um, he just gives you pungent blood cocktails, but this guy gives you a nice rune. A pretty decent rune. Um, I don't really use it that much, but it's an alright rune. Um, beast plus 50 to transform, basically that's beast mode. If you take a beast blood pellet and then you do a shit ton of damage, primarily weapons that give you, like, splatter a lot of blood on you, that'll make you do more damage, but take more damage, too. So that's kind of what beast mode is. Um, another thing, I just got Communion, which that one it gives you more blood vials, which you already know, but this one gives you three opposed to one, so that's kind of nice. It'll be, it, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Um, we're going in here for a little, a little meet and greet. A little, 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 little get together. hopes for you. Well, I won't make any excuses. Would you mind leaving us alone? Things need not change. You'll do the rescuing, and I'll do the saving. But if you refuse to leave... Oh, well. I've always wanted to try my hand on a hunter. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, we're going to leave her. She will fight you if you go up the stairs. If you go up the stairs to try and talk to her, she will fight you. She will be hostile right away. If you leave, she won't be hostile when you come back later. But we're going to leave her. She's pretty tough, but she's not that bad. Just as tough as any other, you know, normal hunter NPC. Like, she's relatively tough, I guess. Um, but I wouldn't recommend um, fighting her. Just because, you know... She, uh, uh, she will be valuable later on, I guess, but I guess I don't really know why, like, I, I talked, I talked briefly on this, but I don't know why, 
um, she's there. Like, I don't know what happens to Yosefka. I mean, I know what happens to her. Obviously, she gets turned into a blue man. And, or, I guess not a blue man, a blue thing. And, yeah, but, uh, you know, I guess I don't really know, like, why fake Yosefka just comes and, like, takes her place. Like, I don't know what she's looking for. I don't know her real name or much anything about her. It's kind of just, like, on the open, you know? Um, I think now we are going to go and start out in Kanehurst Castle. So we'll go to the witch's abode. Um, the way I do it is kind of like a brute force thing. You just kind of run past everything. You don't have to do it this way. You can kill everything if you're worried about it, but it's pretty easy to do it this way. Or I guess it makes it pretty easy. Oh, I think I'm saying the same thing here. Um, but yeah, Yosefka's story is kind of confusing, I guess. I don't really know how, like, why why there's a fake Yosefka. I don't know why real Yosefka couldn't just be the one doing the same thing. So run past the witches here. You'll see the executioner actually gets aggroed here and then runs past me. I didn't touch, the, touch on this, but that is kind of goes off on the strategy I talked about when I was in this area is if you walk past, he just starts walking up. He doesn't aggro to you. Um, run up to this pillar, just walk up to it, or run up to it, whatever, if you're in a hurry. Cutscene. the sound of a creaking door so the mist comes out whoa spooky and just walk up to it and just walk up to it and just push x boom another cutscene Canehurst Castle. That's where the horses are taking us. They fucking drove off a cliff. I think this is a cutscene. There's a plane going by. Boom. I love Canehurst Castle, dude. It's beautiful. There's snow. All the shit. Dude, I love this area, man. Step off that carriage and get ready, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Love this area, dude. Any snowy areas in games, get my fucking... Get my jimmies rustled. So, we turn around here, it looks like the carriage has been covered in snow. Like, frozen over. The horses have been dead a long time. They're covered in snow. Their stupid, dumb rib cages are out. Um, the carriage is frozen over. There's just snow. It, it doesn't appear that we got driven here, like, you know, by the carriage. 